Hello, I'm Dr. Jeremiah Brown. You're about to see a video about a specific treatment for your retinal condition to help save your sight. Having any type of treatment or surgery is an important decision to make. To help you decide if this treatment option is right for you, I want you to understand what to expect. This video will explain how the treatment can help preserve your vision. It also explains the possible risks associated with this treatment. Sit back, relax, and watch this video. We'll be happy to explain any questions that you may have about this retina treatment. At the Brown Retina Institute, we are committed to protecting your sight. Your ophthalmologist has diagnosed a macular hole in your eye. This condition occurs when there is a small break in the macula, the part of your eye responsible for your central vision. Your ophthalmologist has recommended repairing your macular hole with vitrectomy surgery. This type of surgery has been shown to be effective in improving central vision for people with macular hole. To understand how a macular hole affects your vision, let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas, the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide-angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. The inner eye is filled with a clear jelly-like substance called vitreous. As we age, the vitreous becomes less like jelly and more like liquid. Usually, the vitreous is only loosely attached to the retina, so as the eye moves, the vitreous moves away from the macula without causing problems. In some cases, however, the vitreous sticks to the macula and is unable to pull away. As a result, the macular tissue stretches and a hole may form. Your ophthalmologist will repair your macula with vitrectomy surgery. This procedure is done in an operating room. To perform a vitrectomy, your ophthalmologist makes tiny incisions in the sclera or white of the eye. A small instrument is placed into the eye to remove the vitreous gel. Once the vitreous is removed, your surgeon also may remove some membranes on the surface of the macula. Generally, a gas bubble is injected into the eye to help flatten the macular hole and hold the retinal tissue in place while it heals. If a gas bubble was placed in your eye, your ophthalmologist may recommend that you keep your head in a special position for a certain period of time during recovery to properly keep the retina in place. You will not be able to see well with a gas bubble in place. As you recover, your eye naturally makes fluid that gradually replaces the gas bubble. Avoid air travel with the gas bubble in the eye. Also, if you are going to have any other surgery, be sure to let your anesthesiologist know before surgery that you have a gas bubble in your eye. If the macular hole closes successfully, your vision may continue to improve for as long as six months after surgery. As with any procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with vitrectomy surgery to repair a macular hole. For instance, there is the risk that the hole may not close after surgery. Also, if you have not had cataract surgery, it is likely that you will develop a cataract or clouded lens in the affected eye, requiring surgery at some point. Other risks include bleeding, eye infection, retinal detachment, new or recurring scar tissue inside the eye, clouding or scarring of the cornea, a droopy eyelid, increased pressure in the eye called glaucoma, vision loss, and the possible need for additional treatment, including medication and surgery. Your eye problem could remain or get worse. You do not have to be treated for your macular hole. However, if it is left untreated, a macular hole will lead to permanent loss of vision. Be sure to keep all your appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away.
Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.